Right now, um, we always do a hockey segment with our very own, she's been with us almost from the beginning, uh, the Long Beach Lady Hockey Maven, uh, Tracy. But this week I gave Tracy a call and I said, Tracy, I'm going to get you involved in your other passion besides hockey, which is the day I met Tracy, that famous day at Starbucks on National, Tracy was knitting. And I overheard the conversation, so she wants to get into broadcasting, and I said, you got to be on my show. The rest is history. Now she's a star. Uh, but there's a thing at the Senior Center, and what it's called is the Crochet Blankets for Wounded Warriors, where uh, they're going to be making blankets for the soldiers when they return to Long Beach over the summer. And Tracy, how excited are you about putting your passion of knitting to making blankets for the Wounded Warriors and giving them to the soldiers this summer? Uh, I think that's amazing. Uh, I, I love giving back to the community, and I feel part of living in Long Beach is, is absolutely getting involved and helping people. And when you told me about the Wounded Warrior Project, I got very excited because I do love to knit, and I just gave Walter a baby blanket for his new grandson. He asked me to make him one. I like doing things for people, and, and I think this is going to be absolutely wonderful. Uh, it is actually a crochet, but I'm going to knit because <laughs> I don't know how to crochet. And yeah. uh, I have a lot of I have a lot of uh, veterans in my family. My grandfather served in World War II. My father served in the Vietnam War. Um, I do have a lot of friends uh, who served over in the first Iraq War, Desert Storm. So I, I do have a lot of friends who were military and who were actually injured in battle. So to get involved in something so spectacular, I, I'm actually extremely excited about it, and uh, I can't wait to get involved. You do have the number, so you're going to call, right? Uh, yes. It's a, all right, very good. All right. Talk about more. And, but now, uh, everyone has uh, waited. Uh, it's been a brutal year for the Islanders. Uh, Tracy's there rooting them on. But uh, the good thing is, sometimes in sports, you have to get really, really bad before you get really, really good. And the Islanders are assuring themselves of another top draft pick. But that being said, what do you got for us, Tracy? Uh, it's funny, Howard, because I put together my whole segment for tonight. I was very excited. I had a whole lot to say, and then I promptly walked out the door and left it on my desk. So I'm kind of shooting from the head right, tonight. That's cool. I'm going to try to remember everything I wanted to talk about. Uh, may shock you all to know that I don't pull this stuff off the top of my head. I actually do some research. Um, I do uh, have to give a really quick shout out to my niece Shayla tonight. She really wanted me to be at her, at her fifth grade holiday concert tonight. I couldn't make it, but I love you, baby doll, and I'll be at your concert on May 25th. <laughs> okay, so now let's get into hockey. Speaking of the Islanders, um, yeah, they're still going through a really rough patch. The players, they're, they're frustrated. I, I, I want you all to be aware of that. It's not like they're out partying and drinking and being like, yeah, whatever, we lost again. They're, they're really frustrated. They're having a very hard time. Uh, some bad news. Rick DiPietro was back on the injured reserve. He experienced some knee swelling. Uh, the good news, Nathan Lawson was in that on Saturday night, and he played really well. Uh, I'm pretty impressed with some of the saves. Uh, you know, he's got a, it was his first NHL game. He's got a ways to go, some, some work, some development, but I think he's going to be just fine. They still do have Rolison. Now, Rolison was, his name was coming up in trade rumors, but you would imagine with DiPietro being on the injured reserve, that's not going to happen. Other names in the uh, rumor mill for trades are Blake Como and James Wisniewski, so that should be interesting right now. Um, December 19th, we're in the middle of the holiday freeze, uh, roster freeze for the NHL, so there won't be any moves, but uh, Steve, the Rangers, it turns out Columbus looks to be interested in Michael Delzato. They made an offer for him. Wasn't enough. We'll see what happens going forward. And that's local hockey news. The Devils, you know, they're being the Devils. And <laughs> They're still losing, too. And so let's talk about Sidney Crosby. 21-game goal streak. He's got 42 points in 21 games. Um, the last player to do that, let's go post-lockout error, was Danny Heatley in 2005 and 06. But honestly, Crosby got a way to go if he wants to even tie Wayne Gretzky's record from 83-84 because he won 51 straight games with a point. And um, it's, it, it, it's, uh, <coughs> Crosby's on fire right now. He's on my fantasy team. Racking the points for me, keep going. It's awesome. I'm in first place, and, and I like first place. <laughs> but the uh, Penguins ended their winning streak at 12 games, and actually, you know, funnily enough, I was going to talk about the Winter Classic because the Penguins were playing the Capitals in the Winter Classic, and the Capitals went on an eight-game losing streak, and. They are, they're starting to improve, and some people are accusing the 24-7 HBO as being too much pressure for them to handle too much exposure, but I'll get into that in a little while. 
Uh, Chris Pronger from the Philadelphia Flyers started a defense man, out six weeks after having foot surgery. I was a little concerned about this because Sergey Bobrovsky is my fantasy goalie and he gave up five goals last night to Florida. I took a, I took a hit there, so because Crosby did for me. Really, Bobrovsky, you're killing me here. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how they play with, with Pronger out of the lineup. He's a huge presence on the ice. He's a, you know one of the best defensemen they have out there. He gets away with a lot. Uh, so we'll see how they do going forward. Donald Fair was named the NHL Players Association Executive Director. If you remember, he was the Executive Director of the Major League Baseball Players Association for 23 years. Uh, they convinced him to put off retirement to come and be with the NHL. Um, he did oversee three work stoppages in baseball, and I hope he appreciates that hockey is not the American pastime, and Americans will not be as forgiving if the NHL goes into another lockout or work stoppage. So, um, you know, treat it with kid gloves and do the right thing by the fans and by the players. I understand you're there for the players, but the fans as well. I think that the NHL couldn't handle another work stoppage the way baseball could. You know, Americans embrace and love baseball, and the NHL is probably fourth or fifth in our favorites, it's, you know, it's first in my heart, but just please handle the amazing game with the respect it deserves and, you know, do right by your players, but just remember that there are other people out there involved. Okay, Winter Classic coming up, January 1st. <laughs> Outdoor game at Heinz Field. The brink is in the process of being built, and I'm going to get into it way more next week. Talk about the process. Uh, January 1st, you got the Penguins playing in the Capitals. It's going to be amazing. Very, very excited about that. And of course, you have the HBO 24 7 Roads to the Winter Classic. Last week, uh, last Wednesday, December 15th, 10 p.m., was the absolute first episode. And what we saw were the Penguins, of course, in the middle of their winning streak, and they're having fun, and the Capitals in the middle of their losing streak, and they're not having so much fun, and there's a lot of bleeping with uh, the coach of the Capitals, Bruce Boudreau, between periods. And he actually got a call from his mom reprimanding him for his language on the show. And <laughs> <laughs> that sort of stuff happens. But it's been really interesting. You get a peek a little bit into the players' private lives. You get to see what they're going through. And it's just been all around a lot of fun for me to watch. And I hope you tune in tomorrow night for episode number two, HBO 10 p.m. 24-7, Road to the Winter Classic. That's the report for this week. See you next Tuesday. <laughs> right. Now I have a special thing. One thing about me. Halftime Howie, always expect the unexpected. Walter, can you please come here? Yeah. You know what, Howie, you always expect the unexpected. Okay. Never a dull moment with Halftime Howie. And I am CFI, the creator, facilitator, and innovator of broadcasting on the beach with Halftime Howie. The best thing about this show is we have a great group that comes every week. We're like a family. Tracy from the beginning, Steve is part of the family, Gavin and Jennifer have been welcomed into the family, Tommy Bundy works tirelessly bringing us great guests, uh, Eddie Digital does a music segment, he'll be back next week, uh, so we really are a family, and Walt, you walk in, and great moment in your life, a grandson, what, how does it make you feel to see the lovely Tracy of <laughs> knit a beautiful sweater for your new grandson. And talk about the family atmosphere we have here and, and what this is all about. Well, thanks, Howie. I'm just overwhelmed when I saw it. You know, when we walked in, uh, Tracy showed it to me, and it was like I was like in awe. Uh, this um, this blanket that she knitted, okay, I mean, it was... For your little grandson. Yeah, yeah, for my little grandson, it was great. <laughs> well, that's what it's all about, you know, here. Every, everybody here is a family. We, you know, we love each other. You know, we support each other. And you know, and all our, all our endeavors. Um, what can I say? I mean, it's just, it's, it's just great. You know, and, and I'm just very excited and, and, and very happy to be part of the team. We have a great group, and uh, let's give it up for Tracy for the knitting. The grandson. We're going to bring some real talent. We have a big fundraiser coming up in Long Beach on Tuesday, January 4th. We're going to meet a lot of the people who are going to be at the fundraiser. We're going to have some musicians perform live in the law office of Pecknick, Pecknick and Schaefer. Gavin's coming up. Jennifer's coming up. They brought some talented friends with them. So stay tuned. The best and talented of Long Beach High School is coming up. I am Halftime Hour. This is Broadcasting on the Beach with Halftime Howie from the prestigious law offices of Pecknick, Pecknick, and Schaefer. And this is Long Island's first and oldest radio station, WGB. Woo!